Hello pilots! In our previous video we went over how the modulation system works. And today I'm gonna show you how to modulate using feedback, which is one of my favorite things that you can do in here. So if you guys remember in our previous video we tried to have some vibrato in our motion generator and the way we did that was by setting up a modulation um, on the phase parameter and we added an LFO, LFO 1 to it, and which is a sine wave, and we also added on the stereo rotate so we can actually see under the pretty scope um, we add in an LFO one to and it sounded like this yeah you get it <laughs> so now we're ready to do some feedback modulation and there's actually two ways that you can do it in here one way that you can do it is that you can send your LFO to its own frequency and the way we do that is that we go to our LFO one we right click where it says frequency and we go to modulation setup and we click on add and then we're gonna find our LFO1 I believe. So in this way you're actually modulating your LFO1 with your LFO1. <laughs> why would you want to do that? Um, I don't know, why not? So now if I remember correctly, if you have it at 20 or more, uh, it should cancel out I believe. So there's no more vibrato, but once you move it back... there's a vibrato and that would be one way to use feedback modulation now the other type of feedback routing comes from the feedback section that you can see right here and now let's try to modulate our motion generator with its own frequency and the way we do that is that we go to a frequency parameter right here we're gonna click right click modulation setup click on add and where it says feedback source click on there and now you have your feedback source modulating your frequency and already you should be hearing some difference you can also turn it up so yeah let's just leave it like a 200 or something it doesn't matter so now you can play around with the feedback settings that you can see right here you can select your source where it's basically you can change where in the algorithm to get the feedback signal from you can select any of these and they all have different sounds. You can also isolate the frequencies that you want by tweaking the low pass and the high pass frequency that you see right here. You can control the feedback amount, which is basically how much feedback do you want in your signal. And remember when I told you that you can modulate anything to anything? You can pretty much modulate your feedback with more feedback and... <laughs> I think I broke it. But yeah, that's the fun part about modulating anything to anything in these generators. Uh, it's very fun to just go around and just try many different stupid things and like, what would happen if I modulate this LFO with this other LFO, but I also send some feedback that is also feedbacking itself and it's just you can get crazy results so that will be pretty much it for feedback modulation i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope to see you next time bye bye